Leslie and I were thrilled that Terry Braun Hernandez was able to be part of our course. She is a full-time radiographer in the cardiac cath lab and the RSO, which is radiation safety officer, at the hospital where she works. The hope was that the equipment in our interventional suite, which is the same as they have in their cardiac cath lab, would have similar capabilities. It did not. It turned out that their software allowed them to use much higher MA stations as well as providing a much greater selection of frames per second and pulses per second than we have in our interventional suite. Terry was still able to demonstrate some important aspects of radiation safety and was able to provide us with video of the software of her cardiac cath lab control panel. Hi. My name is Terry. I'm a radiologic technologist that works in the cardiac cath lab setting. Today, I'm here to talk to you about dose saving measures in the cath lab. If you are currently working in a facility that is still using 15 frame rates and 15 pulse sequences as the default, you can have the field service engineers come in and reset your fluoroscopic units to image in the 7.5 frame rates or 7.5 pulse sequences. I'm going to talk to you about what I do in the cardiac cath lab to drop down the dose to my patients. So the first thing I do when I come in is I'll look at the touch screen to see where the pulse sequence and the frame rates are. And I'm going to drop that down in the imaging. So right now on this unit, it's set at 15 on the pulse sequences. That's what we would be using under fluoroscopy mode. And I'm looking down here at the um, acquisition mode, and the frame rates are set at 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm automatically going to drop down from 15 frame rates to 15 pulse sequences down to the 7.5 on both of them. By doing that, we'll be cutting the dose to the patient by 50%. We want to make sure that our image detector is close to our patient. This will help um, with cost savings of dose to the patient, but it will also protect our physicians and us as the technologists working next to the physicians from the radiation dose that um, we're getting through scatter from the patient. In the cath lab, it's important that we use proper shielding during imaging. A lot of times what we want to do in the cath lab is we want to leave our shielding back towards the end of the table, which is just a great idea. It's protecting the technologist, but unfortunately the physician will be standing up here a little bit closer to the x-ray tube. So what we want to do is make sure that with our shielding, we move it up. So what you would do is just bring your shielding up so it's covering the physician. Another thing that in cardiac imaging is this is meant to bend around the patient or bend around the physician so that we're able to protect when we're using such steep angles during cardiac imaging. So as you see with the tube coming over, we're still able to get through. What we want to do is make sure when we're using collimation that we do collimate so that we're just looking at the heart under the imaging. We use a lot of fluoroscopy modes of imaging and we also use acquisition, would be like recording the x-ray. What we can do to cut down on some of our exposure is that when we want to record an image, instead of recording that image in acquisition, we can actually record that image under a mode which is called store fluoro. Nowadays with the fluoroscopy units, we can actually use the store fluoro mode to save images that we want to record instead of going into acquisition. Most units, I know on the Siemens units, you can actually save a thousand frame rates just as you would for um, an acquisition, but you're not using the acquisition mode. From a fluoro technique in the cath lab, we're looking at maybe a technique that would be about 100, 125 kV with about 100 MA. When we move into the acquisition mode, our um, techniques will change there where we'll be staying about 100, 125 kV, but our MA is going to shoot up, clear up into about 800 to 1,000 on the MA. So as you can see, that's a huge difference in uh, technique which of course that would be a lot in dose. So anything that we can um, 
save under the store floral mode is a good way on saving on dose for the patient. Where we like to use the store floral mode is when we're looking at the LV gram or when we're actually looking to place the closure device in the right femoral artery. At those times, we don't need to use acquisition. Our doses are a lot higher than what they would be in interventional radiology or in just regular diagnostic fluoroscopy. And the reason is, is that we do use the higher frame rates, which would be the 7.5 frame rates or even up to the 15 frame rates and pulse sequences. So here we are looking at a control module that's here in the cath lab. And there's different programs that you can go into. And as you can see, we have all these programs here on this unit. Some of these are DSA programs, digital subtraction programs. There's more digital subtraction. And then we also have some Dynas CT programs, what actually turns a fluoroscopy unit into like a CT unit. So to make this easy, we'll go back to a new card setting. And this is something that we would probably use if we were doing um, coronary arteries and looking at the left ventricle of the heart. So as you see right here, we have low fluoro and cardiac low. All this with the eye is basically for fluoroscopy. And as you can see, you have 7.5 on the pulse sequence for fluoroscopy. So you can actually open up this module and you can drop down your pulse sequences. And by doing that, you're actually able to change the dose that's to the patient. So if you went from a 15 pulse per second to a 7.5 pulse per second, you'd actually be dropping your radiation dose by 50%. You can also come over here onto the acquisition side, Cine side. This is how we would actually be recording the images. We'd be using frames per second. And as you can see, you can open these up. You can shoot single like a regular x-ray or you have choices. So dropping from 15 frames to 7.5 frames, that's another way of dropping the dose in half. Or going from 30 frames down to 15 frames, you're dropping your dose in half. This is another way of changing the dose to your patients. This is actually working off the AEC of using for like a low to a medium to a plus. And this could be maybe for a small patient, medium patient, or a large patient. So the idea is that you do have the different programs that are set for you by the companies, but be aware that you can open up and change down your pulse sequences or your um, frames here to lower the dose. So only use what you need to use for the procedures. Over here, I just wanted to talk about the store floral button. This is used if you want to be able to store um, images without going into the acquisition program. You'd be storing under fluoroscopy here. Otherwise, we'd have to come over here under acquisition. And like I said earlier, with using the acquisition, that's taking your MA from the 100s, basically up into the four, six, eight hundreds to be able to take images. So be aware that you can store, like I said, over a thousand frames of images under fluoroscopy by using this button here, which would be the store floral button. So here are some of the doses that Terry gave us from her cardiac cath lab. On an average patient, average size patient doing just an average heart cath, the dose would be between 500 milligray and 1200 milligray if they're using the 7.5 pulses per second and 10 frames per second. On that same patient though, if they now put in and did a stent placement, it would jump up to about 1000 MGY up to 3000. So you can see that there's quite a, a dose jump there when they start adding on something like that. Now, she also gave us a, you know, I just said, well, what about a large patient or kind of a, a, lar you know, a longer exam? So she uh, went into the 
equipment and found one that was a multi-catheter exchange that then turned into an intervention with stents. It was a large patient, it was like a 250 pound patient, and that dose at the end was 8,000 milligray using the 7.5 pulse and again the 10 frames. Now, remember if, you know, that's Terry who always drops it down whenever she can to that 7.5. But if you're working in any kind of a facility and most of them, they default to 15, then you've doubled any one of those doses. So that's why it's just so important to be able to take it down whenever you can to the 7.5. And if you're able to take down your frames, obviously you want to do that also.